Hello guys, welcome back. So today we are talking about macrophages. This is the next lecture in the series of lectures with the immunology. Uh, remember that we had gone up to the neutrophils, neutrophils, then basophils, eosinophils, and now today is the turn for the biggest role player in immune system, and that is the macrophage. So to understand macrophage, really it's a very elaborate cell, very important cell with a lot of functions. So to understand really all the function it does, here, here is a little agenda for today's lecture which we would pursue and we would go through these topics one by one. I might jump around in various topics in here, but this is really what is the structure. So what we'll talk about is the definition of a macrophage, we'll talk about the origin, where the macrophage comes from, We'll talk about various enzymes present in the macrophage. So I hope that you remember that all the cells in our body have gotten various kind of enzymes. Some enzymes for the cell itself to function and some enzymes, for example, lysosomal enzymes or others, which allow the cell to degrade the proteins inside. And in case of the cells like immune system, these cells can be using those lysosomes to break up bacteria and viruses and fungi and those things and yeast. So enzymes, then we'll talk about the proteins on the surface of the cell. So again, this is very important to understand that what kind of receptors are present in the cell? What kind of cluster of designations are present in the cell? What is the cell surface looking like? So what proteins are present in the cell? Very, very important cell, very important concepts. Then what is the lifetime or lifespan of the macrophages? And then uh, the break. So this is a very unique concept about the macrophage that how does it go and live in a tissue? And how does it stay there inside the tissue? And when would it separate from the tissue and start working? So again, in today's lecture, we'll cover that as well. So the breaks of the macrophage. Then we'll talk about the functions, then mononuclear phagocytic system, immune system with which macrophage is working, and the locations of the macrophages. One very important thing which I've noticed so many times, and I've talked about it in my previous lectures too, that sometimes students really get confused, that they, they go into the immune, immune system, they study the immune system, and what do you read? You read macrophages, monocytes, B cells, T cells, lymphocytes, and so on. B and T cells are lymphocytes. Natural killer cells, dendritic cells, and then when you actually start encountering the pathology of the uh, immune system or when you start reading about the immune system in, in bigger detail or you come across the reticuloendothelial system, all of a sudden what happens is the weird named cells start popping up. For example, Kupfer cells, Langerhans cells, dust cells, and so on. So what are these cells? These are mostly the macrophages, glial cells, macrophage dust cell or the alveolar macrophage, Langerhans cell, the cells present in the, the macrophage is present in the, under the skin. Remember the Langerhans cells were actually found by a medical student, his last name was Langerhans, uh, by a medical student when he was in fourth year. He is the same doctor who also have gotten the name on the eyelets of, remember the eyelets of Langerhans in the, in the pancreas? So Langerhans cells, then Langerhans cells, then the giant cells or epithelioid cells and so on. So really most of those cells are macrophages. So this is a very important thing to understand. Nothing uh, curious in the immune system or uh, immune system studies. Most of these cells which you would encounter are going to be the macrophages. So we would actually talk about various locations of the macrophage and then what are the names of the macrophages which live in there and maybe what are the uh, what are their functions if these functions are a little bit unique. So having said that, this is our agenda. Let's start from the definition of the macrophages. So I'm going to walk over to my computer and open up the definition here. So definition of a macrophage really is a, this is a monocyte which lives in a tissue. So let's see here, uh, why not we do this? We, we have been used to making this little picture here in that picture we have a lymphocyte in the lymphocyte we have b cells remember these b cells that make them like this these are sort of mobile vehicles which shoot the um, 
the antibodies so these shoot weapons although these are chemical weapons these are antibodies but again uh, useful to understand and then remember my favorite favorite cells the T cells these are such happy nice cells these guys these wear these t-shirts so these are called the T cells so T cells and B cells sit in the lymphoid tissue or the lymph nodes and again do you remember do you remember this guy the guy who present flowers the the guy this funny guy who present flowers flowers so this is the follicular dendritic cell again it has dendrites and it has those little flowers in its hands which we'll talk about it these are the when we would do the acquired immune system we'll talk about the follicular dendritic cells which are really the um, cells which present antigen antibody complexes to the b cells we'll talk about it but this is acquired immunity and then we had talked about this many times that we have the bone marrow house remember and then we have the thymus which is our thymus which is the thymus training center center we make a couple of roads and stuff like that here so roads roads and remember we have been talking about the recruits which are coming out of these systems so this is bone marrow house bone marrow house thymus lymph nodes lymph node and then we have liver and we have spleen and we have lymph nodes themselves and and uh, Bayer's patches in the GIT and things like that the important thing we have been talking about various players of the system multiple times and I always have done this in all of my lectures that I've talked about these players together so that the bigger picture stays intact if you have forgotten the bigger picture go back and read the very first and second lectures of immunology in the same series where I've given the bigger picture but remember that we have those natural killer cells those little perverts who tap and palpate every other cells and then we have the T cells and then we have the helper T cell one and we have helper T cells two and then we have macrophages sitting in the center of all of that so today today this is very very important we are talking about this scary 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 dude which is called macrophage remember we always make them like this these macrophages today I'm just making it a little bit more funnier and remember when we write the name macrophage here this then look really scary so look at this little monster isn't this a scary monster now so really really scary if ever I have said it many times before I'm gonna say it again if ever you wanna stay away from a cell that cell is going to be macrophage don't get into a fight with a macrophage is really really bad dude so here is a macrophage he's the hero of our today's lecture this guy this cell is our actor this is our um, our character about which we'll be talking about so let me just very quickly at least try to put this together so macrophages are mostly irregular shaped and they they have dendrite dendrit dendrites or pseudopods coming out of them and they function to capture various pathogens around them they are they have one big nucleus in them so this is different from neutrophil like cells where we have the um, the uh, multi-lobed uh, nucleus remember the multi multi-lobed nucleus in a neutrophil is because it is doing a lot of activity making a lot of proteins and lot of messenger RNAs so anyways this is the macrophage the macrophage has got one big nucleus in the center so the origin of the macrophage the so the definition of the macrophage really is it's a it's a cell of innate immune system which is present in the tissue so remember this it's a cell of the innate immune system present in the tissue so you'll say well can it not be present in the blood yes it can be present in the blood if it is present in the blood it is called monocyte so remember this thing monocytes those monocytes which are present in the tissue are called macrophages so 